Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Lavatoria and Nostra mod for Hearts of Iron 4, which I'm your host, Mr. Talon Lover. But right now, as you can see, we have actually navally invaded Greece, which actually kind of surprised me that we did so well invading them, but, well, somewhat. Never mind. Well, we tried. My bad. Uh, force defense, so you can actually do something here. Apparently, Unity can uh, join a certain group. Uh, we'll hold out, uh, obviously, the best we possibly can. Um, no guarantees, as we are pushing into Greece, so... Yeah, casualties, probably not looking so great after that loss. 40,000, that's pretty darn bad, not gonna lie, but... Now we have this many divisions here, we actually might be able to push out and see what we can do. And we lost two combos, that sucks, but whatever. We'll do the best we can, force the attack, force them out. Because you guys, without you two, can go right there. And we just finished up Naval Vanguard. After that, I don't know, with training programs, maybe... European Research Council, that's not a bad idea. Oh, let's do that one. Our current council is not enough. It needs to be expanded with our different allies and coordinated under research branch. Wherever these different councils take time, but it'll be worth it. Nice. Same most of you guys over here. Cool, there we go. That's much better. Uh-oh. Cops, god dang it, stop sinking our stuff. Oh, you got in circle. Oh, god dang it, I am losing so many guys in this, this war. But then again, we're killing off all the Greeks for a reason, so... Uh, anything here? Lost more convoys. That sucks. What are our capital ships doing? Nothing. They're pretty much doing nothing. We took Athens, which is nice. Um, go right here, maybe. So if you declare war on Finland, you could probably see that one coming. We lost more divisions. My bad. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the naval invasion. Well, it could still, could still be worse, I guess. It could be like more like historical Italy. And there's a lot of guys. But. Mm. Oh, there we go. At least we did something there. Are you guys still fighting over there? No. So now, since you're all here anyways, you never know who you're going to lose when you need to invade. How, how does this make any sense that they don't capitulate here? Force the attack. They are going to die. And I wish they'd stop doing force defense. And they're not. But still. Like... Greece, there we go. Yeah, they're gonna die. We might release them later, but for now, no, 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 no. They deserve to die. Um, other things, it's the European Research Council. It is 1940. I think the Germans are at war with the, yep, the Soviet Union, which is probably not great for us, but this is pretty good to do. We want to dominate the Mariner Storm. We'll have to lay down ships in bulk and complete them all with available means. Nice. Central powers. You guys are, uh, well, not under us either. Communists, why are you by yourself? I, mean, I don't really understand. Romania? Oh, they're guaranteeing a lot of things. Uh, can we go to war with the Hungarians and maybe puppet those guys, maybe? Maybe not? We'll see what happens. Yes. We do want to work on a navy. We do want to work on more stuff. Bolivarian alliance. If you want to go that, please go right ahead. Death to fascists. Yes, yes, yes. It appears we have some other comps to go through as well soon. But not yet. Soon, though. Soon. Building ourselves up. More those would be nice. More planes would be nice. More ships would be nice. Go home and do that. I'm gonna go and train that train. We need. Do, oh well, that's that kind of explains it. Nice. Start getting that ship stuff done. That'll be very very good. Ah, princess or ship, we're okay. Not really much to spend our PP on right now, anyways. Go and train as well. So you guys are six combo with, which sucks, and you guys are the twenty nine combo with. Or 20 combo with, but there's none of you guys. Yeah, our divisions aren't great. Um, military police, anti-air. What is of Hungary? Do we have any extra anti-air, maybe? Yeah, we do. We're going down to Santiago. Oh! Oh, look at that. Oh, wait. Did you go communist? Nice. Why does one kill off these guys? And who are you allied with? Bulgaria and Finland. We could probably do that. Especially with Stalin leading them there. Except for this... What else do we want to do? Equal distribution. It's not bad. Terror command. That sounds like fun. Retain its independence. Ground command. I kind of prefer ground command, to be honest. I want to do that one because we get some better, more, more cast out. Uh, the army cannot be expected to win without adequate support. As long as artillery, we shall help them in battle. I mean, people's united navy. Oh. Yeah, that is what it is. Wow, they're actually doing really quite well there. I know the Germans will probably just slow down, but that's alright with us. I'm not here to win super a uh, ton of wars, but just you know, do the best we possibly can. Um. Oh, just ship stuff, huh? All right. 
Better ship stuff? Yes, please. Deck armor? Yes. Anger space? Yes. Crushing hunger nationalism? Nice. Death to fascists. Nice. There you go. Good stuff. Goodbye. Done with research is here. Happy 41, everybody. Grab some research speed as well. Uh, sure, why not? We can eat them, why not? For now. Maybe. Moys of Hungry, very, very good. Not much else we can really do here. We can do that one, though. Um, Austria is guaranteed by who? Oh, the Commune of France. Well, that sucks. Infiltration Assault, nice. Running out of things to build as well, which is not great, but a little reassuring, I guess you could say. Um, I'll do that for now, too. Cool. And build these up so we can trade them away. Get some more rubber as well. It's good enough for now. Ground Command, very good. Integrated Air Force. Let's do United Navy. Uh, equal distribution. We'll start a welfare program accessible to all. We won't share its fairness and won't permit more taxes. The wealth then will be distributed to the people. Wait. Wait, why can't we declare war on them? Well, seems like we got a glitch here. We don't have an aggression pact. They have the blood agreement. We can't go to war with them? Um, you know what? I guess I'm sorry to do this. But we got them fair and square, so I don't care. We're taking them. So, okay. Whatever game. Whatever. We missing anything else here? Emergency stuff. No, we're pretty good. Okay, so after that one. Uh, shared economy. If we want to move forward to a more, to a more equal world, uh, we'll make sure the capitalists and fascists don't have access to our resources. By sharing an economy with our partners only, we should be able to make the maximum from our resources. At least that's a theory. That's a goal. Uh, cool. There goes Andres. Goodbye, Andres. Goodbye. These guys are really attacking like crazy. Which is fine with us, but still. Uh, who's guaranteeing you guys? Romania? Oh, yeah, I'll with the Romanians. Oh, maybe we go to war with you guys. You see them. I think I want to pop it hungry and see what happens with those guys, so. So, a couple comments included. Can we make our own faction and release Yugoslavia? We could. We'll see what happens. Can we make a communist Roman Empire? That'd be kind of cool. Oh. Uh, of course. Um, how much more manpower do these guys have? None! Stockpile? Probably not very good. Well, seeing how badly damaged some of these divisions are, I think we'll do okay here. Nice. Making sure we do okay here. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. War bonds immediately. Yes. Need more war support. Region wide integration is fine as well. Lost 23,000, 25,000 versus 300,000 is not too bad. As we're getting more and more army XP, which we definitely need to make these guys 40 combo with. Good coffee. Because, my goodness, do I need it. Oh, whoops. Well, we, we're going to manually release them, right? Here. There we go. Okay, oh, People's Republic. Nice. I normally don't release people, but I just figured, you know what, let's do it one at this time. So, because now... Oopsie. Didn't mean to click on that one. Can you guys actually fight the checks and these guys off? Kind of wild if we could. I did 20 days. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll do these guys. Democratic, huh? they might get guaranteed by somebody, though, which is bad. We get a lot of population here. Vanguardism of the left? Nice. 
I'm maybe willing to get them someday. There's always a guarantee. There's not there's always a possibility of that too. So get more rubber. I do not want us to depend on any other nation. Um. Okay. All right. This is weird, but okay. I'm okay with this. No one else is justifying with this fine. Shared economy. Unification. Yeah, so we, we get a lot of puppets when we can do uh, unifications. Alright. That's getting weird. So well, it's already been weird, but whatever. Integrated armed forces. Let's do a United People's Navy. Our new fleet has been reorganized and improved. With the help of our allies, we shall reclaim the seats of the workers. Nice. Very nice. Social education. That's a lot of peepee. -pee. More research speed? Eh. Promote Junio Valerio Borghese to Admiral. He has demonstrated both an exceptional command ability and an admirable loyalty to El Duce. We should promote him to Admiral. No, I don't think we will. Cool. Shared economy is very, very good. Yeah, we're going to need some of that too. And yeah, La Vittoria e Nostra. Very good. It would have been cool if we allied the Brits, but eh, they went fascist for this campaign, so there's not really much we can do about that. Um, go over here. Let's go to that one. Cool. So then, people get army is not bad. Training program. Everyone will have to do their duty when the time comes. In order to do that, we'll train more youths that will be called upon when we attack or get attacked. Ooh, it's not bad. Plenty of manpower. Plenty of manpower. How much longer do we have to wait? Ah, uh, but not halfway there yet. But we're getting closer. Millies? Why not? And maybe get another city too, or uh, that thing. Yeah. They're still slowly pushing in. Barely, but slowly. China do be looking kind of united, though. A lot of cores, European group. The People's Front. Common turn. <gasps> I don't want to fight the common turn. Oh. We need carrier planes. Ooh, that's something to research next immediately. And we're getting that stuff anyway, so. Let's get this one. Nice. Well, oh wow. Oh boy. Tank programs, Brigata Navala Rosa. The San Marino Naval Brigade has been unequipped and understaffed by the old regime. What's your name in? Invest in the vanguard that will liberate the workers over the oceans. Nice. So now. Oh, they offer support for Monarchist Coup. The German Empire has approached pro-monarchy and anti-fascist elements of the Italian government and the underground with plans for the assassination of Mussolini and the institution of Victoria Emmanuel III as leader of the nation. The Germans are sure they can handle the assassination. All we have to do is affirm a willingness to create a replacement government and a pledge of future military support to German endeavors. We must look to the monarchy in time of the need. No. Oh, crap. They could coup us. That's true. I didn't realize that. That would suck if we did get cooed, though. Like, come on, man. Like, bro. Alright, there we go. Alright, everyone hates Britain, as they probably should. Cool. 400 more. Oh, Dutch people. There, look at that extraction. Training program's nice. Integrate Air Force. Uh, tank program. The old military command did not believe in the power of armor. This one's sick all to be corrected through studies and investment in armor. I think I read this one, so, yeah. That one, too. Hmm. Cast, why not? And if you need a train, please go ahead and do that. I do want to make these guys 40 combo with. We have this, the equipment for it, so... It's going to be quite costly, though. No black shirts here, please. Oopsie. Oh, now I'm going to war to make a 40 combo with. Okay. Go 
don't want to quite do that just yet. We need a few more fighters, a few more medium bomber transports, tactical bombers as well, fighter ones, fighter twos. Cast one, cast two, yes please. Maybe get some light tanks would be very nice as well, but that's getting close out of that one for now too. Sure, why not? Uniting United People's Army. Now that we reformed our armies, we have a standing professional body ready to take on any task. They shall lead us to victory. Less political power, but more recovery rate reinforces your max planning factor and maximum command power increase. Nice. I don't understand why we can't go to war. I mean, I guess. Uh, is that set for us? Oh, infantry division does get more attack, which is nice. Um, I like the weekly manpower. It's pretty nice. I don't see anything here that would not let us go to war, so. More cons commands? Oh, they immediately start attacking us too, huh? There you go. Not bad, not bad. We're doing quite a bit of damage too. Of course, they are. They did try to kill us off here too, so. All right, fifteen thousand versus hundred fifteen thousand. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Um, obviously, we're not anywhere close to finishing them off yet, but that's all right. You know, people's army would be very good. What's it every single day? We lost a few more provinces, which sucks. Formation flying, some of that too. Nice. We're doing some really good air damage. Hmm. There you go. And then, integrated Ar Air Force. By having planes at the disposal of the Army Navy, we'll be able to intervene, uh, intervene air easier in combat. Oh, Hungary actually has some divisions now. Nice. 22,000 versus third of a million. Wow. Some of these divisions that are attacking are just not doing very well. They're out of manpower. You guys are not. Nice. Anything else over here? War bonds would be pretty darn nice. Cool. Keep building, 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 building. We well, don't really want to stop, but they're attacking us like crazy. United People's Air Force. When the finalization of our air break, and with it, we have developed a better air force than the times of the fascists. Our air force won't ever be a propaganda office. I mean, they're desperately trying to kill us off. I love that they killed off so many of their own men. Just so many. Especially from the Czechoslovak regime. Very nice. Anti-Soviet pact. Oh. Well, we'll see what happens then. Nice. Overrun him, overrun him. Okay, National Spain. Iberian Socialist Union. What? Nice. Nice. All Czech divisions down here are going to suffer. All remaining divisions up here, which is like none, will suffer. And we like watching our enemies suffer, so.
Very good. Command Supremo Comitato. The Supreme Commander into the fascist regime was an office of corruption. We will establish an independent committee named Commando Supremo Comitato, or CIC, that have real power in military affairs and supervise the progress of war. Oh, it was wounded, unfortunate. Ah, this is pretty nice. And we get a research slot, which is awesome. We could really make Italy very powerful here. Dive bombing seems like we're probably going to need some logistics eventually for our thick boys. Because if we have boys, we like them thick. Well, like anything. Everyone's joining God dang Luxembourg. Well, not Luxembourg, but the common turn. I don't want them to join the common turn. If anything, I want to kill off the common turn. Because they are our rivals. Nice. Any other ships? Not too many, no. Let's give them that for now. They've done a great job. Luigi has done great. Well, well, I thought they already lost on Ingrid the first time, but okay. Oh, yeah, we can give Hungary this territory too, that's fine. No Slovakia, no problem. Ah, uh, ooh, that's not bad. Uh, let's go this one for that one. Very nice. Sure, Slovakia's gone. Good, 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 good. Central powers of the common turn. Hmm. Well, we'll see what happens first. Let's see who gets becomes weaker. I did say we would pop at them, so. Uh, you know, let's annex them first, and then we'll release some. Do we get stronger if we have more puppets? I don't think so, but... Molotov Nenny Pact? We can do Unification, but that's pretty much it. This focus is not very long. When the time has come, our European Federation is ready to be implemented. This new union will shatter the concept of boards and nationalities. A new world order for the workers is awaiting. The fight for a brighter future has come tomorrow. For tomorrow, it's come today. Um... Hungary. Release nations. Um, what happens if we do that? You know what? We can release Transylvania. Let's see what happens with that. Moldova. There you go. You do that too. If this is, it turns out really bad, I'll probably just re annex them all. Return territory. No, we're good. Slovenia. Um, Croatia. Eh. So what if we do that? Take a look here. So Hungary is led by, or Czechoslovakia is led by Clement, and you're led by Ms. Baldeman. Transylvania is led by Alex Williams, and then you're led by uh, Constantine, and then you're led by this dude, Booker. Booker. For they request light tanks. Officials from Turkey have approached us with a standard desired or stated desire. To purchase light tanks from our inventory, expressing offer what they call Italian genius and, of course, excellence in design. Turkish officials have relayed to us that Turkey simply must have Italian armor in order to have safeguarded own sovereignty. Why not? We need more millies too, so. There you go. Hmm. Central powers are doing very well, though. We're just not ready to fight too much, too many other people as well currently, though. Well, my refugee does pretty darn well, but still. But still. Yeah, then we'll do Bears of the Revolution. So, unification. One, two, three, four, five. All the puppets will probably hopefully unify and get cores on all of them. That would be very nice. Trying to be looking kind of thick. Uh, what's America up to? Not much. Scary man up there. British Empire. Ha, oh, so handsome. Um, ban the leagues. Oh, you're out of manpower. You have a million manpower. Alright, I think we gotta go to war with the Germans. Yeah, they're doing too well. Yeah, these guys train, it's fine. How's this? 
Especially if we defend in the mounds, it'd be really good. Armando Cal uh, Zavara. Yes, 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 please. Um, get some more of that too. And then you'll be led by Mario Mungenia. Mungenia. Awesome. Gianna Filomarino. Uh, better empty air, thank you very much. Well, of Kiev. Plop them out. We need way bit more artillery now. How many guns are we making? 15? We're by 5, maybe? Maybe? Nice. This is a unification because we're forced to. After that one, I guess, bears of the revolution. We're going to allow ourselves to be let the world fall to capitalism, bolshevism, or fascism. We'll liberate the workers of the of, of the shackles and set them free once and for all. Nice. Another research slot. It's awesome. Can we actually win here? That's my question. Because these guys are doing ridiculously well against the Soviets. And these guys, too. I mean, I want our guys to be strong before we actually do go fight, but still. Cool. I suppose we could try it. I mean, guys, most of these guys, not all of them, obviously. A lot of them are 40 combo with. In mountains. Oh, come on. Wait, are they. Yeah, no. Can they actually defend against us? Maybe. Pierre? Hello, Pierre. I just want to hold the line against them. Sure, for now. Sure. Oh, we do the entire line. That sucks. Look at the long line we've got, though. I do have. S oh, whoops. Nice. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, war bonds, I'd love to, but we need more war sport too. Region wide. Logistics are very good too. Help her out out because you can. And you guys come over here. Sure, why not? Tina, Moti? Yes. Definitely don't want to try general tech yet. Happy 42, everybody. Let's get some more research speed first. Let's see what happens. Did you three like, come here? Yeah, maybe. Follow oh, Moscow. Oh, that's not good. Wounded. Oh, they are starting to attack us. Oh, yeah. They're definitely starting to attack us. They actually expanded out a little bit, which is kind of nice, actually. A lot of losses. You know, the Soviet Union has done that many casualties. How have you lost? Oh, my gosh. 6.8. Holy crap. 6.8 million? What? Holy crap. The Germans are strong. Just guys deploy. We're going to need them. We're definitely going to need them. We're doing okay so far, but... Are they Anschluss? That'd be good. European Unification. Look at this. All countries have accepted our offer of unification. Amadeo Bordeaux proclaimed a new age of communism for the populations of Europe. We'll be a new federation of the communist states of Europe. Long live communism. Oh. Um, okay. Nice. But do we get cores? That's my question. Do we really get cores on them or not? Oh, you do! 
Nice. We only have two. Oh my gosh. You kidding me, bro? That's actually that could be a pretty darn strong focus if if it was. You know, it could be very strong. Oh, that's true. We are fighting these guys down here too. Um, that's not good. Um, not good. Not good at all. Not good either. The vision is just so disappointing to always look at. Good. Artillery, yes. Get some anti-air for now. Nice. Make two. Right, so it's probably best way to do that focus, even though at this point we'll have more than enough core population to do this anyways, but still. Um uh, yeah. Cool. This is turning into a kind of a nightmare scenario. In terms of like it's just so much. The Soviet Union just is so incredibly weak. Or at least the Germans are very, very strong. But after this one. Destabilize the Americas? Destabilize Europe. Every major democratic nation. Oh, let's wait. Destabilize the Americas. The Americas have always been a place of instability under the U.S. influence. These countries are forever held and bound and exploited for the resources. By investing in communism throughout America, we should be able to reduce the U.S. influences in the region. Nice. Should we try General Push? Well, we tried. We're winning in some areas, though. So now, we've lost 73,000. We've killed off 210,000. That's not bad. A small little attack like this would do pretty darn well. Hmm. Got a lot of good air. A lot of red, though. Even with their superiority, it's a lot of red. Good. How strong is Germany right now? They got plenty of manpower for now, of course. But let's see. Artillery is good. They have no infantry equipment though. Ooh. If we keep the fight, do we? We're out of artillery, though. We're out of a lot of artillery. Nice. Bear the revolution, nice. We stabilize Europe. I'll do the Americas first. Followed up with a strike against Moscow. If we want to unite the workers of Europe, and we can afford for Moscow to interfere, Europe shall unite against the Eastern threat. Alright then. US, pro US protests are involved in, South in Latin America. American President FDR has made it clear this morning to Amadeo Bordiga that interference in the internal politics of Latin American countries was unacceptable. Standing in the long standing Monroe Doctrine, the President warned that continued interference in Latin America would come at a significant cost. We'll do as we please. Now's not the time to anger them? I don't really care. Work on the mount. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Oh, now they're attacking us too. Oh, that's not good. You know, as long as they're attacking us, I'm okay with that. And we can hold the line. I, can, I don't want to lose, but. Hey, there goes Mexico. Yeah, let them attack us again, please. Sure, why not? We got plenty of PP. 
Plenty, 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 plenty of pee pee. Just keep them, keep them, come on, keep at us, Germans. So again, still holding on, still holding on, very good, very good. Still training your ships. So how much equipment do they not have left? They got some artillery, no guns still. Probably getting chewed up due to all of this resistance here. 31% nice, 30%. Education. Looking pretty good so far. Anything else here? Not really, no. Nice. I, don't really, I just don't want to attack because they're going to keep attacking us. Attacking against Moscow, save us Europe. Um, we can't do this one. Take up the lost cause. Top of fascism. Mexican communism. Infiltration and death is very good too. There you go. How many have we lost? 200,000. We've killed off. 750,000. We're getting close to the French communists as well. Which of course is quite good. Hmm. Good, keep it up. Keep it up. This might be the last blow we need to send to the Germans before they all die, but I could be wrong about that. The Chaco Trouble, or Struggle. Uh, what's that? Okay, cool. So Rafael Franco is the president of Paraguay. His government has shown that it can embrace reforms by joining him with the Federal Communist Party of Paraguay. We'll be now in South America by further promising help in Chaco. We can investigate a war to liberate the workers of Bolivia and beyond. That sucks, bro. Yeah, I'd say we're doing quite well now. Not bad. A million couch tea towards them German boys? Not bad. How's this looking? European group. The People's Front. You don't want to join our front? Oh, that sucks. No one wants to join us. Why are we so unpopular? Revolution of Cuba? Yeah, we're just making the Soviet Union bigger. Honestly, if I do this campaign again, I'll probably just have us join the Soviet Union or something. Seems like that would make the most sense or something here. I don't want to join that group. That sucks. Do we have Castro here? No, Fidel Costa though. Cool. Not bad. The Chaco struggle. Heavy ship pulls. We need to get 1940. Oh my goodness. It's, as you can tell, it's not very good. Oh, they're great to uh, buy planes? Uh, Rafael Franco has accepted our offer and, is and would like to complete the transaction uh, as quickly as possible. We only need to iron out the details of exactly how many planes we are going to send him. Okay. Very descriptive, yes, very descriptive. Now, nice, look at this. Oh, we won! That's a bit ridiculous, not gonna lie. Hmm. Well, I guess Soviets, you can have all the Baltic states. 
including Poland as well. Um, maybe we'll do that. The French. Yeah, we'll get a little chunk of this. There you go. Well, I guess not. My bad. You know what? I think I'll take all the rest of this, because we can. Maybe not feeling though. This obviously looks very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Oh, I've been Empire Six by ships. I've been government where the lack of a proper navy is submitted to a tender to purchase Italian ships. Should we accept to build ships it is that or provide with goods we can use for our own purposes? Sure, why not? Chuckle struggle to stabilize Europe? We can't even do some of this stuff. We could have war on every fascist nation. We need to liberate the workers from the fascist influence. Destabilize Europe. We have we have to shatter the pillars of social or political establishment in Europe. By destabilizing the government, the workers will rise, take up the lost cause. The very concept of a national Spain is an insult. Spain has been the home to a movement in Europe for years, and we must support them now in our fight to reclaim Spain for the people. Now with the Marianne. Finances are neighbor, both geographically and ideologically. The French people cry out for a workers' revolution, but they are suppressed by the ruling class. The time is coming to bring down the government of the Maristorism bring the revolution to France, and Mexican came communism. The Mexican workers are awaiting their liberation from the capitalists. If we want to have a foothold against the U.S., we want to go back to the communists of Mexico. If Trotsky's alive, he might still be willing to help. That would be kind of cool if we get Trotsky, but honestly, I'm not sure if there's anything else really for us here. Uh, Perry, join us. Uh, yeah, to join the Enropen Socialist Federation Initiative. That's where we show rule of fall together. Just, I don't know. Because it's ahistorical, there's not really much else for here to do. We're pretty much doing the focus tree. Um, what? Mexico? I'm not sure what else there is to do, like, this is fun and all, but like, maybe next time we'll actually join the commentary, because it just seems like they have a lot more to do. Like, at least you have more friends, you're all, you're all together, Vanguard's of Bolshevism, take down the Merchant Empires, and you're allied and stuff like that, I don't know, we could keep going, but like, there's really not much else here, we could go and kill off the National Spanish, but, do I really feel like it? Honestly, not really, but hey, I guess we might just end the campaign there. A really short campaign, but hey, whatever. I wanted to see what Red Italy would be like. So if you enjoyed the video and the campaign, short campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you do. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.